Hello and welcome to Python Projects. In this video section, we will create a GUI using Python. We will be using the built-in TKinter module. TKinter ships with Python, so we do not have to install any third-party modules. Now, what is TKinter? Here's a definition. TKinter is basically a thin layer on top of TCLTK, and that's where the name comes from. So, inter means the interface, a Python interface to TCLTK. So, it's TKinter. TKinter is a GUI framework. So, what that gives us is that in only a few lines of code, we can create a fully functional graphical user interface in Python. So, the way to do this is we import the TKinter module, and here we alias it as TK, just to make the name a little bit shorter. And um, one thing to notice is that in Python 3, the T in TKinter is in lower case. In Python 2.x, it's actually a capital T. So when you look online, you might find lots of examples that have the capital T. And if you try those examples, just be aware to change it for Python 3 with, to make the T lower case. So after importing TKinter, we create an instance of the class and assign it to a local variable, which we call win. And now we can use the reference we have to the instance and add a title. So we call the title method. It accepts a string and we give it Python GUI as a string, which will become the title. Now, once we run this code here, nothing will happen until we call the main loop on the win variable. The main loop is an endless loop. It's the, the main Windows loop that keeps the GUI up and running. And we get out of the endless loop by clicking the red X. So let's run it. So as we can see here, four lines of Python code. We have a fully functional graphical user interface. We can minimize it. We can get it back. We can resize it in both directions. We can fully maximize it. We can Make it smaller again and move it around. And when we click the red X, it closes. We know that our GUI comes with a default size. Now, in order to learn what that default size is, we can call the update method on our win variable. And then after we've updated it, we can call the win for width and the win for height methods and we can print them out. So when we run our GUI, we have the same size here. It prints out the width and the height being 200 pixels each. And of course, we had to call the method down here before the main event loop. Now we can also increase the size. And we want to do that. So in increase window widths, we are going to set the width to 300 instead of 200 pixels. And we set the height to one. Now one doesn't mean one pixel. One is actually meaning the default value, which should be 200. So when we now run our GUI again, you can see that it's wider. It still has the same height. So here the width says 300, height is 200. And what's interesting is we can make it wider horizontally, but we can't make it shorter than 300. So we can't reduce it. So what that means is our Python GUI text in the GUI will always be visible. On the other hand, we can do this. So we can still resize it this way. We can also maximize it, reduce it again. There's another thing that we can do, and that is to prevent the GUI from being resizable. So if we set resizable to 0, 0, it means we cannot resize the GUI. So now when we run it, we get the same GUI, 300 by 200 pixels. You can see that the Maximize button is grayed out. The Minimize one is there. You get it back. The X is still there. But now when we try to resize it in either direction, either X or Y, we cannot do it. 
so the size is fixed now. It's nice so the title is always visible and sometimes this is what you want. Sometimes you don't want the user to accidentally screw up the GUI by tracking some of the borders of the GUI and uh, making the GUI look kind of funny. So that's one little trick to know. In resizable, 00, zero prevents the GUI from being resized, being maximized. We just close it, clicking the red X.